Hi Pez Collectors, I'm Erin and here are three boxes that I bought on eBay full of Pez items. They might not all be dispensers. Let's see what I got. I opened them up just so I could spare you the time of unboxing them. But I didn't look at them. Let's see what this is. Oh, this is pretty cool. It's Marvel's Ghost Rider, Funko Pop Pez. And I didn't have this one in my collection. I'm just trying to go through my collection to see what I need to add. And this was one of them. So, he looks pretty neat. Let's see what's in this one. Oh yeah. <laughs> I bought this t-shirt. Oh gosh, let's see what's on it. It says Pezzamania 19. Wait, no, it says Petsamania. <laughs> it says Petsamania 19, not Pezzamania 19. So I'm guessing this is the t-shirt from the Pez Convention because it does say July 16th through the 18th, 2009, Cleveland, Ohio. I thought this was pretty cool. I bought this because I want to start wearing more Pez shirts on the channel and I don't have many. I think I have like a Hello Kitty one and I have a couple convention ones and I just bought my Pez Heads Are Cool t-shirt in my last Pez unboxing video. So I thought this was kind of neat. If anybody has any old convention t-shirts that they don't want, I'll buy them from you. So let me know in the comments below and I usually wear a medium or a large. I thought it was cool because it had the yappy dogs on it. <laughs> it's pretty cute. There you go. Get you a better look at it. I don't think I went to this year of Cleveland, but I have gone to a couple Cleveland conventions. So this is a pretty neat addition to my collection, even though I'm going to wear it. <laughs> After I unbox this box, I want to take you into the Pez room and I want to show you what I have done so far. I've been working on it for many hours, setting up all my like loose dispensers and I ran out of... And I, wait, wait, I'll just, I'll just show you downstairs. So that's going to be fun. So stay tuned for that. But let's open this real quick. Oh yeah. Okay. So I noticed when I was unpacking my Pez that I was missing one dispenser. So I found a lot on eBay and this is the Toy Story 4 gift set and it has Woody and Bo Peep but I had these two but I don't think I have this box set so that's cool I'll leave that unopened but I noticed that I didn't have <laughs> this little alien <laughs> I have the Buzz Lightyear open but I didn't have the mini alien so I was like I need to buy this I'm trying to finish my mini collection because I know I've missed some that came in box sets. Like I'm also missing the minion box set that has Gru and then the two little minions in it. I don't think I have it unless I have it like stuck in another box, but I haven't came across it yet. So this is pretty cute. I do have this Buzz Lightyear already. I do have a regular size alien because the alien comes on a full size stem, but this is just a special one for the box. I thought that was kind of cool. That's all for my eBay unboxing today. I do have one more thing that hasn't arrived yet. It says that it's supposed to it's supposed to come today, but I wanted to get this video out for you. So I'll save that one for my next unboxing video. Or maybe we'll just do something fun and surprise you on my next video. <laughs> so you can see I don't always just buy Pez dispensers. I mean, there's Funko Pop Pez, I guess that's a Pez dispenser, but it's Funko Pop Pez. And then of course the Pez dispensers. And then my new t-shirt, which is awesome. <laughs> so let's go check out the Pez room. Well, Clement, let's go check out the Pez. <laughs> oh, oh, look at this, sneak peek on the way down. Can't see it, but this box is from Pez. One more set of stairs and then we'll be down there. <laughs> Here are the shelves so far. And it's pretty cool because we've been working on the lighting. We found these Philips Hughes bulbs that we're testing out. It comes with this remote. And you can turn it on and off from here, which is neat. And then you can also dim them. Which is cool, because like 
We're setting up our theater here. This isn't our final setup. This is just what we had. And so you can dim them while you're watching movies. And then also there's like these other settings where you can change the hue of them. So that's like a soft, that's like a soft yellow light. This is a little bit brighter yellow light. It's really bright and it shows the true colors of stuff. Let's get a little closer here. Set up all my vintage ones here. This isn't all of them, this is just my open vintage. And just just disregard those trolls. <laughs> they're, they're trolling the vintage. And just to show you a quick look here. It's pretty neat. I love them all. I think most of these are no foot ones. There's a couple in here that have feet because I didn't know what else to do with them. I wanted to put them with the no foot counterparts. <laughs> I love the soft heads. There's the soft head Batman, soft head Batgirl, and I have soft head Wonder Woman up in my office. So real quick, that's my vintage. And I have a whole row of Barky Brown, which is, this isn't all my Barky Browns either. And those ones in the back there, they're the Halloween ones and they, their heads glow in the dark. So if you see the Barky Browns with the lips, that's Barkina and that's the female dog. And then there's just the regular Barky Brown. But these were all made to raise money for the cause for Australia. So if you look on the side, so this one was for an annual charity night from 2008. It's a long time ago, but they make these to raise money. So I want to work on getting the rest of the Barky Browns because I'm a dog lover and I just love the Barky Browns. There's some um, MMM's Merry Music Makers, which I think I'm, I don't, they're not all out. They're just, those are the ones I found so far. And here's some more Barky Browns. It's a little Easter set. I like how they come in the boxes and if, and if they don't, come in the box usually you get the box flat there's a christmas set those are neat because they sparkle this is maybe where pez got the idea for the sparkly vampire <laughs> these are fun these are more crystal sesame streets and of course my pez body parts i think these are pretty fun this little pez truck is really cute there's some more of my vintage pez up here that are in cellos see i'm still setting up my disney ones i still have more and more Disney, some Pixar. I guess Pixar is owned by Disney now. Some DreamWorks and other various ones, like tons of Hello Kitty. Those are fun. I like these little animal ones in the front. <laughs> SpongeBob. I need to go upstairs and get my SpongeBob crystal ones. Since I have a whole bunch of those. If anybody needs a SpongeBob crystal, let me know. Let me know in the comments if you want me to send you one. Pretty fun, some Garfields and a couple FX dispensers. My new Nala and Simba, some Flamingos, my Pokemon. I think these are Mashi Monsters and my new Eternals Pez, which I really like this crow one. It has a metallic look to it, which not many dispensers have like a metallic look to them. So I think that's pretty neat. I love these little Rio birds. <laughs> so cute. Oh, there's crystal yoda on a little stand more barky browns told you i like barky brown this is my whole crystal shelf so here's my canine crystal canine dogs which these are some of my most favorite pets in my collection over vintage even i just love the crystal dogs just love them some of these crystal pumpkins those were from lynn's gathering as well as these two on the end. So there's just a lot of crystal ones. Pan through them real quick so you can get a good look. Love them. And then my bride and groom. I'm pretty sure the bride and groom with the bride with the red hair and the groom next to her were the ones on my wedding cake. So that's kind of fun. And then there's minions. Guru. He's got the speakers in the trunk that that make you bounce. <laughs> then there's Sing 2. Greg, my husband, he has a Spock, a custom one he bought a long time ago, and then Pez decided to make Spock, which he's a big Star Trek fan. 
some more some ice eggs and some smurfs and of course uh the globe that's just a ball i mean yay and so many things and this is the one pez that clover my little dog chewed up the box when she was a puppy so now i just have the lone japanese pez and those things aren't cheap and it's hard to find just one to replace it <laughs> so but that was the only thing you tore up right clover is that the only thing you tore up Clover, is that the only thing you tore up? Aw, baby girl. She's usually sweet. It was just her puppy stage. <laughs> so I've gotten a lot more done than I thought I would in the time that I've had. I mean, I work on it here and there, maybe an hour or two every day or so, just to try to get it done. It's a lot of work to just organize them into the series, and then sometimes I have to go look for one that I'm missing or leave a hole or something because I know that there's one missing. I need to go on eBay and find it. <laughs> I'm going to take you over here and show you the rest of them that are still sitting out that I need to sort. So I still have some emojis to put out. I'm trying to figure out what emojis I should put out. There's one of those little Pez pets that you put the gum in. Not pets. Some Muppets. These are sorted and ready to go. I guess I have to put them in order of Kermits and Piggies. <laughs> Miss Piggies. And then... Oh, here's some of my Disney ones I need to put up. So I was sorting these. Got some whistles. Looks like a smashed penny. I have these little toppers. I think these... I have these little toppers. They were from... I don't remember. Let me know in the comments if you remember what these were from. I think they were from some kind of juice box thing or something. They're pretty old. And then there's a Batman and a Spider-Man. These are fun. This is a flashlight. And this is a bubble wand. Maybe pop the head off. Ugh. Okay, I'm not popping the head off. It hasn't been popped open in a while. And this is another flashlight. Let's go look over here. have a, some pens in here that I need to sort and then all the holiday ones oh my gosh it's like never ending holiday I'm turn on the light here it's just never ending Pez holiday so many so many And then Star Wars, which I love Star Wars. So I want to really go through my Star Wars collection. And I have a bunch of them in my office. So I need to figure out if I'm going to keep them downstairs or buy another few of them that I'm missing for down here. Alone Pink Panther because the other Pink Panthers are on card. A bunch of my superhero ones. And some sports ones. Which are boring, so I don't know if I'm going to put all these out. Not a real sports fan. <laughs> uh, Alone Luigi and Donkey Kong. Because I think the rest of those are in my office too. Some trucks. And strawberry shortcake. <laughs> I still have the shelves full over here. So I'm putting stuff on the shelves here as I sort through them because these are all like box sets or on card. Like there's these cool Ninja Turtle ones with the body parts. Like stuff I don't want to open. Oh, check this out. Who remembers this? The Sparky Holly, Sparky's Hollywood. There's a Santa in there. It's pretty neat. Used to be a. I don't. I don't know if it's there anymore. A Sparky's uh, store in Hollywood. And they had a huge Pez display in there, and you could buy Pez. Some of the mascots. These are all doubles that I've been finding, so maybe I'll put these back up in my office and I'll take some of the other ones down here that I need to fill the holes. Unless anybody wants these. Some cool ones here. So I have to be more than halfway done. 
with at least the open, I almost ran to the pole, at least the open dispensers. So over here on the shelves, I want to, let me turn you around here. I want to fill the middle part up with the open dispensers. And then around the sides, I want to put, you know, some box sets. And if I have room, I want to put some other stuff like Star Wars collectibles or some Star Trek collectibles or some Funko Pops maybe. I have a lot of collectibles. So I want to keep the middle part for loose ones. I'm going to need to go to the container store because that's where I buy these spice racks that I display the Pez on. And so I need at least three more. And at my old house, I had some other ones. And then I could put the boxes and collectibles in tiers as well. So I might be picking up a few more of those. Once I get the stands for those couple shelves there, I'm going to finish putting up the rest of my open ones. But I'm kind of stuck right now. I mean, I do have some room here, but I want to buy more Barky Browns and maybe put some more vintage ones there. So I don't want to fill up the whole space. I have some space there for some more vintage ones in the back next to Santa. So you got to see an update of the display. I hope you're enjoying the videos. And if you haven't already, please subscribe or just, you know, give me a thumbs up on my videos if you made it this far, especially. So see you on the next video. Bye.